good morning and uh, happy hump day folks. Um, I'm sure that there's a lot of things that everyone in America needs to take in right now, both good and bad. Considering that, you know, I mean, talking about this election, like, there's a reason why I never really brought it up. Because what am I going to say that hasn't already been said by virtually everybody else? A friend of mine actually pointed out yesterday that regardless of the outcome, this is still America. And while obviously there's a lot of people I really couldn't speak for, I love my country. You know, it's like I said yesterday. You know, if the person you voted for didn't win, take some comfort knowing that it wasn't your fault. Personally, I can sleep well at night knowing I did what I was supposed to do. I went out and vote, I made my voice heard, and nothing can ever take that away from me. And it shouldn't, no one should ever take that away from any of you either. And regardless of whatever outcome was going to happen, there was a lot that was going to come afterwards, both good and bad. When Donald Trump first got elected, I'll actually never forget like the speech he made shortly after it was announced that he was elected. And keep in mind, what I'm about to say, I'm totally paraphrasing. America truly is a great country, but if we want to make sure we keep it that way, no matter what side you're on, Democrat or Republican, we all need to work together. And if we could just agree to do that, who knows what we can accomplish. Um, again, if the person you voted for didn't win, take some comfort that it wasn't your fault because you didn't vote for that person. And if the person you voted for did win, please try and remain humble because, you know, considering the outcome, there are a lot of people who are not happy with the outcome. So I'm just going to leave it at that. There's a reason why I don't talk politics in these videos. And um, without fail, my low, as I said yesterday, was just dealing with all this election talk for quite literally the last several months. I was silent about it because they're really, because again, what am I going to say that hasn't already been said? Especially when I'm kind of the last person who ought to be saying anything. So my high is the fact that it's finally over. You know, the election's over. Just about as many people as possible made their voice heard. I think we can all take some comfort knowing that we did, that we all voted. Well, as many people as possible voted, I guess. I mean, some people decide not to vote because of reasons. Some people can't vote at all because they're either not old enough or they're convicted felons. Whatever. If you went out and vote, you got to say that your voice is heard. And that's awesome. Um, 
it's funny. I'm, I was going to say that my act of kindness was I took out the garbage for my parents and I emptied the dishwasher for them. But considering the significance of both my low and my high, my act of kindness seems rather mundane. But now that I think about it, it, um, that's fine. Considering everything that's happened in the last well round it and say 36 hours. You need a little bit of, you know, something that's mundane. And now that election day is over, hopefully we can all move on. It's like I said in both um, the October and retrospective video and the State of My Being Address video over the last couple of days. There's so much to look forward to with the remainder of this year. I mean, we got Veterans Day coming literally in less than a week. I think it's less than a week. It should be next week, shouldn't it? Well, anyway, we have Veterans Day coming up. We have, um, you know, the holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas. New Year's, if you celebrate these holidays, Hanukkah and Kwanzaa, you know, there's a lot to look forward to. And right now, I do believe that we're in Scorpio season, if you're into astrology. So, Scorpios, this is your time of year. Enjoy it. And then we have Sagittarius coming up. And then we have Capricorn, that's me. So, if you follow astrology, you know, you've got those times looking forward to. Finding out that just one girl I really like who is a Scorpio. And what's sad is I was friends with her on Facebook before I got hacked. And after I remade my new profile, she hasn't accepted my new friend request. Getting a little worried about that. But whatever happens, happens. I'll find a way to wish that girl happy, that, that person a happy birthday. Oh, I, I literally just said girl, so if you couldn't tell I'm straight, but you guys at this point, I hope you guys at least know that. Although, if we are splitting hairs, I am comfortable with my sexuality. I mean, okay, I don't want to I mean, I could go into a whole spiel about how I have plenty of gay friends and I could go into a whole spiel about how the members of the Pride community that I personally know are among the nicest people that I know. But some of that could probably bleed into um, more politics talk, and I don't want to do that. So I'll just leave it there. Um, I tell you what, I'm sure there's a lot of people in this country that are feeling exactly like I am right now. Just glad that it's over. You know, this reminds me. Um, there have been a lot of public service announcements or PSAs or specials that talk about the significance of voting. And to me... The one that sticks out more than anything else is the South Park episode. When um, they were selecting a school mascot and as a joke, which wound up being a real thing, the, mas the school mascot was either going to be a giant douche or a turd sandwich. And what was even funnier, at least in my opinion, was both a douche and a turd are allegories for Democrats and Republicans, respectively. At least, I think that's what they were implying. I mean, douche and Democrat begin with the letter D. There's the letter R in the word turd, and Republican begins with the letter R, so... At least I think that makes sense. And honestly, you really could make the case that 
every president we had was either a Jewish or a turd, and you can base that on whatever political party they were in. I mean, I'm not going to get into that sort of thing because I think I've already said enough dirty language in this video. Even though technically I've said words that sound much worse over the years. Um... What do I even say now? Um, well, seeing as how the election's over, I guess it's okay for me to say my piece on this. For those of you who've been watching me for probably since as long as I've been doing videos, or even for as long as you've known me before you even started making videos, I really, I have said this before, but if this is your first time hearing this, I am a Republican. I am. I mean, a guy such as myself who really barely comprehends anything political, and honestly, I only chose Republican all those years ago, like, Honestly, I decided I was going to be a Republican since probably the first George W. Bush election. And that was really made the case because, I mean, listen, I mean, the animal that represents Republicans is the elephant. Meanwhile, the animal that represents um, Democrats is a donkey. I mean, if you're choosing between an elephant and a donkey, the elephant's the cooler animal, hands down. So, take whatever I'm about to say with a, as a grain of salt, but I voted for Trump. I did. If you recall the other day, I was actually walking back to here from church and I happen to walk past the uh, Shimon County Board of Elections. Someone walks out to me and says, Hey, you want to vote? I'm like, vote? Yeah. For the, for the, for the election? Yeah. So, I went right in and voted. And, um, I filled out the entire Republican line and, Put my ballot in, and that was good to go. I early voted, or if you can, if you can already tell. Although, here's a funny story, because for those of you who actually filled out a ballot, like the Republican line and the conservative line were literally the same going across. So really, you could have voted the entire line um, Republican or the entire line conservative. And it would have been the same regardless. But when I got back here, I checked my mail. And there was literally like a little brochure type thing where since both Republican and conservative lines were exactly the same, you could have filled out the circles and all of them. I wish I knew that going into the, uh, going into the voting booth. But, it doesn't matter. I said my piece. You know, I voted for Trump and that's all there is to it. So, as I said earlier, if you voted for Kamala, and obviously she didn't make it, it's not your fault. If you want to blame anyone, sure, blame me. Me and thousands of other, millions of other Americans who also voted for Trump. So, if it's any consolation, like I said earlier, if the person you voted for did win, just try and be humble about it. Don't brag. There's no need to do that. Like, you should be humble in victory and remain gracious in defeat. 
I guarantee you, like, if Trump lost, I'd be speaking in the exact same tone that I'm speaking right now in terms of, you know, recording this video. Because I think we can all take a deep breath and relax that it's over with. It is. Full disclosure, I really had no idea what I was going to talk about today. In fact, it's probably not going to hit me until later. Like, oh crap, I could have talked about this. But, considering everything that happened, this was more important to discuss. It is. Um, I hope everyone had a wonderful election day. I hope that you can all take some pride knowing that, you know, you were able to make your voice heard. I hope that you can at least sleep at night knowing that you tried doing the right thing in terms of what you want your future to be like, at least for the next four years. And please understand that Yes, I am a Republican, and yes, I did vote for Trump. That doesn't necessarily mean I agree with absolutely everything that Republicans believe in. More so that there are plenty of Democrats that don't fully believe in everything that Democrats are supposed to believe in. At the end of the day, you really should go with how you feel. And right now... I feel as if we all need to just take a deep breath, have a big sigh, and just get on with the rest of this year. Because I'll be honest, 2024, I went in this whole year thinking that it was going to be the year that I put it all together. And in many ways, that is exactly what happened. But then you have big events like getting ready for the election, for example, that kind of take away some of that and kind of kills the mood. So, if like me, you're sick of hearing about all this political talk, then please know that, you know, I do share your sympathy. And I too am glad it's all over. And now to do the one thing that everyone has to do. And that's get on with our day. I hope y'all like this video. If you like to subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow me on social media. As always, I am very humbled that I made this video. For hope you guys are watching Joy for today. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, Wednesday. I forgot the day of the week. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk to you, we're going to let me know. Take care and make good choices. 607 all day, baby.